All right, here's a, a, a scope probe. This is a 10 to 1 scope probe. I just have the clip, the ground clip clipped right to the probe tip, and then I'll set that down right there. And then uh, that is uh, hooked up to the uh, channel input. Oops, always go the wrong way on the zoom. So that's our, uh, I guess you could call it electro smog environment there. We're at one microsecond per horizontal division. So let's see here. We have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and about oh, I'd call it six and uh, six point three, um, six point three cycles in eight microseconds. So let's do the math here. Let's go uh, six point three divided by point zero 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 eight equals seven eighty seven five hundred so we're at uh, about seven hundred and eighty seven kilohertz here on the electro smog and uh, that's that reading okay stay tuned so Crank the inductance out. That's starting to come on. And now I can adjust the capacitance. Is that showing up on the video? Okay, so there's there's the thing tuned. I guess you can see that there are no batteries in there, people, right? There's no energy storage. It went out there for a minute, didn't it? Woohoo, look at that. So, there's some orientation sensitivity to that. And, of course, Changing the inductance changes the resonant frequency of the receiver. Looks like it works pretty good out there. Okay. And changing this capacitor setting. Can get the screwdriver in there. Very sensitive to the capacitor setting. So, uh, let's see there. there you have it this is the simple loop stick wireless power ambient um, electro smog harvester